everyone, Amanda here. I just wanted to come and share my latest junk journal with you. This is what I do uh, when I have time off from stamp it, my stamping up business, which is not an awful lot. Because <laughs> when I have free time, I like to spend it with my family. But I do manage to get a little bit of me crafting in, what I call me crafting. And I do like to make junk journals, very much inspired by Yvonne Preston and Artie Mays. Those are my two key ladies who I watch, and Carol from the Crafty Emporium. So this is just a mini junk journal. It's not following a specific kit. It's not following a specific theme. There's no specific colour. It's just a complete self-indulgent mishmash of just bits and pieces that I have put together over the last couple of months, to be honest. It took me ages to fill it. Um, um, and I've really enjoyed it. So it measures about it's about six inches by about four and a half roughly don't know i'm not too sure and i've i've bound it with um twine and i've bound each sig there are three signatures but rather than them laying one on side of the other like that they're laying inside each other so we've got one signature then the second is laid on top and then the third is laid on top and each of the signatures are bound i was just messing about and i've bound each signature with eyelets and then they all bind lay on top of each other like a sandwich and then they all bind together um you'll see in the center with this lovely braid um so yeah it's just something a little bit different um so we've got just bits and bobs here tied onto the binding uh, just bits out of my stash the lovely tassel came from the fantastic Kay's beads and um, she does make them to sell if you're interested and she also made this beautiful embellishment here um, I am lucky she sends me things that she makes and, and I do use them um, so the bind the cover is quite simply a good quality craft card um, nothing fancy and it's just one layer and then I have um, added this digital image which I think is a ephemeris vintage garden one that I've had ages then I've stamped over the top and then I've covered it with um, matte medium so that this doesn't come off and it doesn't get spoiled. And then I've added this lovely embellishment that Kay's made. So we've got the eyelet closure with just some um, like braided twine stuff. I wanted it to look kind of rough and redder. Nothing in here is perfect. That is my mantra with crafting. Nothing has to be perfect. You don't have to have junk journals matching. Um, or anything like that. So inside here, we've just got two little tickets that I was gifted by um, Val, my lovely friend Valera. And here I've got a mishmash of coffee dyed papers, scrapbooking papers out of my hoard. And on here I've just decoupaged a little bit of napkin. When you um, peel the napkin layers apart, often the white part gets discarded. I stamp on it and you can decoupage it as long as it's a, you know, um, one that doesn't run. Uh, so I've used stays on uh, little wording. I think that's an Artemis. We've got some cheesecloth behind there. I think this is from the Crafty Emporium in the files. Um, Carol has some free words and I'm sure that's hers. That is definitely from Artemis. This has just been made up out of scraps, this pocket, and the tag is also made up of I don't know, random bits and bobs and a little bit of decoupaging and some stamping. Lots and lots of stamping. Uh, this is a little book page, like corner flip out that I've made. I just took some bits and bobs in and this page here, I'm not going to take everything out because it'll take me ages to put it back in. It's decoupage with a napkin and it's coffee dyed and on the back there I've left it plain. So we've got some music paper and some ledger paper, loads and loads of room for writing. I've just added the odd decorations here and there. I've got a little flower and a bit of lace and a word and down here we've got some lace with little crystals on. Some edge punching but again loads of room to journal. We've got, a, I've um, sponged over a doily there, I've got some stamping here, uh, more stamping here, that's a scrapbook page, uh, this is from Artie Mays and I've just backed it on some hessian, one of my little butterflies, some more stamping and we've got some vellum there, that's actually some gift wrapping that I had in somebody sent me and then here I've just made a pocket by folding over the paper and I've held it with some, that is actually washi tape. Um, so there we go, you can see the washi tape at the other side. I've just put it on really rough and redder. And then here we've got a, um, is that stuck? 
that's there, that's right. It's a, it's a like a library card, and that's from Artemis, I think. Yeah. Um, little flower there. Paper bag, scrapbooking paper. We've got a little ticket, and that's a corner flip. My friend K made that and sent it me um, ages ago. My scrapbooking paper, and I've left lots of plain pages. Um, we've got a little envelope here, and I think that's come in something I've had gifted. There'll be something in there, and then these little heart paper clips um, have come from K. Plain, plain. Here I've got a tag that I've made, put a little bow on, and that is an envelope. And you can just see the eyelets there, each signature is held together by eyelets. So there we go. Some more of the washi tape, coffee dyed. That's got a little, that's meant to, that's it, just a little tuck spot there. With these little hand stamped things, another library pocket, it's quite a few of these because they were quick and easy to make. Um, that's um, Artemis paper that I must have had left over from something. Uh, coffee dyed, that's one of the freebies from Artemis um, Facebook group, I think. And this is a little corner flip that I've made, um, stamped on it and added a little dongle. Loads of plain, more plain, more plain. This is a decoupaged and and machine stitched um, pocket that I had gifted and there's a little envelope with some stuff in <laughs> that's technical with some stuff in uh, my um, scrapbooking paper another corner flip envelope with some stuff in and you can see where all three signatures are tied together in the middle there and then I decided to have a bit of blue so we've got some um, stenciling and we've got some little just Bits of ephemera that I've got from various places. Um, this one here, these sayings are, I've got quite a few of them still here actually. And basically you can buy it from, um, that's a Mrs. Coggs, that one. I saw it advertised over on um, Andrea's Facebook page and went and bought it because I thought it was ace. So this is coffee dyed paper and it's really thick because I, when I first started doing journals I bought the wrong paper and it's really thick, it's almost as thick as card. Um, so more journaling pages, lots and lots of journaling space there. Um, it'd make a good travel journal if you went on your holidays and you want to write each day what you've been doing. Um, my little girl always takes a little notebook and turns it there. Another one of those sayings. We've got a, the other side of the paper bag with something in. We've got an envelope there with something in. Uh, we've got an, another tuck spot with a tag. I've turned that page into a tuck spot with a tag. And I've attached it to that one, which is another tuck spot there with the other side of the vellum. Then we've got this card saying. I can't remember where that's come from. Some scrapbooking paper I've had for years, probably. And it does flip up so you come right underneath. And then here we've got some more stamping, stamping. And here this is from Artemis and I fussy cut that. I was going to use it for something else and then I did put it in there and put the same on, on the little tag. So I just thought it were pretty. It took me about four weeks to fussy cut that. <laughs> So we've got some more and I've just done some random stamping and I've coloured that in with watercolour pencils. We've got another one of the lovely, I think, did I make, I think I made this one and curled the paper clip. Um, I don't know who started that fad off, I just copied it off K. <laughs> Corner flip, uh, this is one that I've made, stamped and coloured it. I stamped all the back of that as well. And we've got the corner flip with the butterfly and then we've got the back page here and this says all's well that ends well. <laughs> I just thought it was fun. So I added that and the back's plain. I've not put anything on the back there and it's quite chunky. I don't even know how many pages there are front to back. There must be 80 or more pages front to back. It's quite chunky. Oops. So let's fasten her back up. Um... If anybody wants to purchase this or wants to swap it, 
uh, for something perhaps they've made. I'm open. Once I've made them, they're just go on a shelf and I probably won't use that one. Um, so yeah, there you go. So I'd like to thank everybody who is on YouTube who does inspire me massively. Um, and hopefully in another six months I might have another one finished. And I'm still on with this one, which is my blue one. And I've turned it into a file. Um, and this is uh, an Artemis complete digi kit. So I'm still on with this one. It's not finished yet. Um, <laughs> but we'll get there. But this one's done, so I can carry on with that one. I just thought I'd share that with you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.